Warning. You are about to enter the BGP suite. No thongs. No boy shorts. No thigh highs. No commandos are permissible. BGP. Big girl panties only. So pull up to woman up. And no, please don't leave with your panties in a bunch. Welcome to BGP. Welcome to the BGP suite, a suite where we have three ladies who speak on all topics. Sometimes we agree, sometimes we disagree, but we still, in the end, end up hearing each other's opinions. Uh, we're here for solutions. We're here to provide our take on different topics and what's going on. You may agree, you may not agree, however you choose. But what we really would like for you to do is comment, Subscribe, share your thoughts on our topics, give us ideas, and we'll take, you know, we'll take it into consideration. Today's topic is cheating, fight or flight. Ladies, today we're going to start with the Sweetie versus Quavo situation that occurred about, I guess, a year ago, according to them now. Initially, when the uh, video came out this week, it appeared like it happened recently. But according to them, they're saying it happened a year ago. My thought is, if you're in a situation where you find your... I'm sorry, not thought, but question. If you're in a situation where you realize your spouse is cheating, how do you handle that, Mona? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, because you are a woman, when you first hear about it, you're going to become emotional. Mm -hmm. So when you say, how do you handle it, how far do you want me to go? <laughs> <laughs> do you want me to, when he first tells me, or did I find out by him, or did I find out in the public? Mm. You found out in the public. So I found out in the public that my man was cheating on me. That's a bigger problem than finding out in private. Mm -hmm. That's a bigger problem than him telling me himself. Mm -hmm. Because it's, it's, it's the deception of the whole thing. Here I am thinking that you and I, you know, are in this monogamous relationship. Everything is going good. And you're out here just hitting, hitting stuff. Mm. How I would handle it. Well, the woman in me mm -hmm, mm -hmm. would have to really think about if this man is giving me 80%, 85% of what I've always dreamed of, do I necessarily want to throw it away for a era? Because he is a man. I do say I love him. Mm -hmm. And I don't believe that I could turn my love off and on just because he did something Egregious. <laughs> okay. Um, we'd have to talk about it. Okay. We'd have to see if there is anything that we can negotiate that our relationship could be salvaged. Uh, salvaged. Mm -hmm. Okay. Miss <sighs> Ma'am? For me, it's a straight-up deal breaker. Okay. Uh, it is an ultimate violation. If it happens in public, I would like to think that I would conduct myself as a lady mm -hmm. and act appropriately. <laughs> Your I face just says. recently had this happen. <laughs> so it did not go it did not go well. Okay. Um I think I tend to carry myself in a way that um I would think someone would respect me enough to if there was an issue, I always have good communication, so I thought. Um so I would I would like a person to, you know, put me so if there's areas that I'm falling short or if something is not going well that we could discuss it. But when you embarrass me, mm -hmm. oh. and I facilitate an anger management class, so I try to take those tactics <laughs> that I learned in anger management uh -huh. to be able to handle the issue appropriately. But it didn't go well. <laughs> it didn't go well at all. So instead of me just being embarrassed, now I was embarrassing myself. Got it. And, yeah, I went there. I went all the way there. So, 
Yes. You said he embarrassed you. Yeah. Did he actually embarrass you or did he actually embarrass himself? He probably did a little bit of both because when it occurred, now that I think back, mm -hmm. people were trying to let me know. No, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not speaking you specifically. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> right, right, right. I always put I'm, myself yeah. in the story. <laughs> I'm, saying specific, I'm saying in general, mm -hmm. when a person goes out and cheats, is he really embarrassing the person he cheated on or is he embarrassing himself? Why are we take why do exactly. we take the blame for something that they do that we had nothing to do with? True. I can answer that. True. Because a lot of times when we decide to get in a relationship with somebody, we're supposed to be a unit. He represents me and I represent him. True. So if I mess up and do something embarrassing, it doesn't just make me look bad, it makes him look mm -hmm. bad. If he does something embarrassing, it doesn't just make him look bad, it makes me look bad too. So I can see why somebody would be embarrassed, embarrassed, especially if you have other people telling you, girl, mm. I saw so-and-so, yes. blah, 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 blah. Y'all good? Mm -hmm. Everything okay? And you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, we good. And then you find out later on he was doing something exactly. with so-and-so, right. you know, because he coming home to you like nothing's going mm. on. Girl. But he was out there with so-and-so and other people are telling you. So now not only are you hurt, but... A lot of that hurt comes out of embarrassment because now you feel like you look like a fool. Exactly. Like you look crazy because you're just like, you're the one, not that you're a bragger, but you're that one that's like, like I'm going to go back to the Sweetie and Quavo situation. You're the one that's bragging. My man buy me this. Mm. My man take me here. My man does this for me. Because you're supposed to be that person that's, you know, got all these single women like this is what you want. Right. And when the truth comes out, he he, doing this for other people too. He's sticking his mm in other people too. So now you like, you look crazy. You embarrassed. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and I understand the part that you said we represent each other. Mm -hmm. So you, if you out here in the streets looking raggedy, um, then I'm looking raggedy too. But I think we take it a little bit far too far mm -hmm. when we start blaming ourselves. Mm -hmm. When we start questioning, what could we have done better? Why yeah. does he do? Why me? Right. You know, that's right. the part I'm asking. Yes. Right. Why me? Yeah. Right. I think it's natural too that you compare yourself to the person that he's cheated with. Mm -hmm. Why? You like. I I think it's just natural. I don't think it's natural. No. I <laughs> no. think, well, maybe it's an insecurity. Okay. On, yeah. So let me okay, just keep it 100. Yeah. Keep maybe it 100. it's an insecurity because, okay. Right. <laughs> because um, you're looking like, especially if you have suffered and have dealt with insecurities in the past right away, if somebody else takes, has, has gotten in your position, you feel like, okay, what do she got that I don't got? Especially when you look and you see. You you really sizing yourself up. You putting yourself side by side this woman, and it's like, okay, I got this, and she don't have this, but she got that, and I got that, and it and it just becomes a thing where you break yourself completely down. Yeah, I think that's a, a unhealthy yeah, way. It is of, so unhealthy of um, thinking about something that somebody did to you. Yeah. Yes. You, you know yes. what I'm saying? Yes. Right. It's like <laughs> you had to turn it around and uh -huh. play. Yeah. 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 You, you didn't, didn't do reverse anything. psychology, and now it's all my fault. Oh was, hell no! Right. No. Right. No. Right. But then I think also you have to own it and look at, okay, so did I do anything? Did I do any neglecting? Did I do, what did I do that caused that? And sometimes it ain't nothing that you did. That's what I'm saying. True. But we put it, True. Mm -hmm, but we put it on ourselves so quickly. You know what I mean? We right away take the blame like, oh my God, did I not fuck him good enough? Did I not? Did I not cook, cook enough? Yeah. Did, did I, I not yeah. say this? Did, did I, I not? not? Right. Right. You, you right away start trying to figure out where did I go wrong? I so agree. so so first you're in shock. Yes. Yes. Then you're in denial. Mm -hmm. Yes. Then you're blaming yourself. Yeah. Yes. Emotional. Then you're angry. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. And then you accept it because you have to. Mm -hmm. And healing. then you have to come up with a resolution. Exactly. Right. True. So you true. well you're supposed to come up with a resolution. Mm -hmm. But for some people they don't come up with the resolution. Instead what they do is the blame game. Yes. I'm a blame her or the women involved for what happened instead of blaming the person who you was in the relationship with. Yeah. So you still haven't come up with a solution to figure out what happened, mm -hmm. what caused him to go out there and, and test the waters. You, you sitting there, instead, you just, you taking that anger and that frustration out on the, the, the girl, the, whoever she is. 
you take it out on them. That's your temporary, that's your temporary resolve. Like, I'm going to get her. I'm a, when I see her, I'm going to do this. Yeah, or so if just, I know she's on social media, I'm going to put her on blast. Like, I've seen some people like, I'm going to put her picture up. This is the home record. This is the girl that broke up my relationship. This is, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Instead of narrowing down and having a conversation with said person to figure out what's our next step, what happened, and what are we going to do next. And see, my thing is, and I see that quite happen quite often we right away want to jump on the girl mm-hmm. and go off on her and why but my relation it, it makes no sense because our relationship is with him correct the error came it's between me and you why am i gonna snatch your wig off and beat you down when i need to be ha- figuring out what what the, why this dude then slid over here right you know what i mean so why we take that blame it is it's, it's uh it's crazy and it makes no sense it's definitely not a healthy way to handle it but it is something that a lot of women do. Yeah. We go right to the, you did it. Mm-hmm. No, yeah. Mm-hmm. Sometimes they don't even know about you. True. You know, a lot of times they don't. A lot of Sometimes times they, they have do no though. idea. <laughs> yeah. No idea. Mm-hmm. Um, so with Sweetie and Quavo, you've seen the video? Yes. You've seen the video? Yes. Okay. So when you look at the video, and this is the perception I got, so we can have different perceptions to see what we saw. When I watched the video, what it looked like to me... Hold on. Okay. Before you do that. Okay. When you watched the video mm-hmm. and you looked in the comments, who were they blaming? Were they blaming her or were they blaming him? I've seen a lot of women was blaming her and I saw a lot of people also blaming him. Okay. Yeah. And they were saying what? Uh, well, a lot of people just automatically jumped on him, and you know, said, and said he, you know, he was wrong. He knocked her down. He okay. pushed her down. You know, all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, but here's my perception from what I saw when I watched that video, maybe like twice. There on in the video, Sweetie swings at Quavo. She missed, but she swung at him. He moved. Then she grabbed one of his items because to me, what I gather, what it looked like to me initially, he was trying to leave. Mm. Mm -hmm. He was trying to leave. Mm -hmm. He had his stuff and she was pulling him back. She swung and she grabbed something that she knew Mm -hmm. that he really cared about, which was that that, the video game. (laughs) Right. So she grabbed that (laughs) and she pulled it in the elevator because she knew if I if I grab this. You ain't going nowhere. Right, right. So what did he do? He like, uh-uh, and he grabs it, and he's grabbing her, and he pushed her, and then they accidentally, you know, they fall. They, she fall, He falls on her, she falls, and she, she sits there. He gets up, he's grabbing his stuff, and then the elevator closes, and I guess in that moment he decides, I guess he can't leave, you know. Right. And then, the, you know, the other gentleman comes when the door opens, and like, mm-mm, the door closes, and then it opens back up, I guess, on their floor. And he's like, all right, come on, let's go, you know. Mm-hmm. But I, what I take from it was he was trying to leave. And she was like, you're not going nowhere. Mm-hmm. She swung. She hit first. She grabbed his stuff. She prevented him from leaving, trying to prevent him to leave. And, what you know, the rest happens. Mm-hmm. So my question before I give my take on where I think that's wrong is, what, do you, what did you see? I saw basically the same thing, just as you mentioned it. Okay. My thing is, this has been going on. This is not the first time. Clearly. Uh, They don't handle um, issues properly. Uh, It definitely is a toxic relationship, and he was probably trying to get out of it. Mm -hmm. And some women, Mm -hmm. we either, you know, you're going to um, start a confrontation in some cases, to get them to stay. Right. Some cry, some fall out, some right. of us fight, yes. you know. Right. And um, this is a result of that. This is a result, I feel, of some ongoing abusiveness, whether it be verbal, physical, whatever. That's what I think. And I think um, the coping skills, probably for both, are not where they need to be. Mm-hmm. But Saweetie, I did see the swing, her swinging first. And, it, and we may have missed some footage prior to. Of course. Clearly something could have been happening outside of the elevator and outside of, you know, something else could have been occurring. But just by the footage that I saw, yes. it looked like um, she was the initiator. She was the aggressor. Yeah, she, she was, was the definitely aggressor. the aggressor. Mm-hmm. What did you see, Mona? 
Well, initially, when the video first came out, everybody was like, he shouldn't have did her like that. Mm -hmm. He slung her. Mm -hmm. You know, he mm -hmm. drug her. Right. And so... It kind of clouds your percep uh, perception of yes. what you're seeing. Exactly. So when you see it, you actually think he's long. He's right. her off. Yes. But when you look at it, like Nisha said, and like you said, she swung on him. Yeah. She ran in to get that little box. Mm -hmm. He came in. Mm -hmm. He pulled her by her sweats. Mm -hmm. They fell down. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. That's it. Right. right. My yeah. thing is, keep your hands to your goddamn self. Exactly. Exactly. You know, exactly. In kindergarten. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly. True. You cannot, and then all the women in the comments were saying, you know, he shouldn't hit a woman. Here's here's my thing. You cannot step outside of your femininity yes. and swing on a man and then expect him in the heat of the moment when his life might be in danger. Because there's some bras out here hmm. that Chunkums. you can catch that fade. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. 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 He's in the midst of danger and he's supposed to automatically remember mm -hmm. that she's a lady she's a girl i'm yeah. not supposed to do this right i gotta tap her i can't sock her like a dude mm -hmm. come on now right you're gonna have to pick a door right, right. you're gonna beat buck up to a man like a man mm. are you gonna just let the boy go right 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 right, right. i agree because when I, so the, I'll, I'll even go back to those comments. Like you said, a lot of women immediately was like, he was wrong. He pushed, he slung. You see that? She couldn't even walk. She was limping and da, da, da. And I'm like, did you see the whole video? Mm -hmm. Did you see what I see? Because when I, the first thing I saw when I watched it was she swung. He looked like he was trying to leave. He was off the elevator. He had his stuff mm -hmm. and she swung and then grabbed his stuff. So I'm like. No, she was out of pocket. Mm -hmm. She hit where I come from. You keep your hands to yourself. If you feel like you, you know, you that bad one that you could sit there and hit a man like that, be prepared for him to hit you back. And take them lumps. Yep. Yeah. And here's and my thing. And be prepared. If that's, if, that's, if that's the kind of relationship you want, right. where you want to sit there and fight in a relationship, be prepared for that. Right. And, and because I advocate for women of abuse uh, often and myself being a survivor of that, um, looking at it, you do. I think what people's mindset is that women, um, you just automatically should not hit a woman. And I agree to a certain extent, you know, if we raise our boys, they should be able to walk away. But no, we should be raising our girls that you don't put ha your hands on no men. Bottom line, keep your hands to yourself. Correct. You know, men are much stronger than you. I don't care how much you, uh, how out, good you can fight, box. how many fights you had in high school. When right. you come down to it, you can get your ass whooped. Right. You know, and you should, ref you should refrain from putting your hands on a man if you don't want to get hit back. So, um, yeah, there's there's uh, definitely some things that he could have done different and she could have done different to avoid the whole situation altogether. Again, like I said, just going by the footage that I saw, there could have been something prior to that. You know, clearly they've been fighting. Right. You know, they've been fighting. Right. They lock up. Right. So you can tell just by the way they handle that. OK, so what could he he have done differently in inside of that video? Had he been in control of his emotions, I think that he could have just left the stuff, just, you know, threw his hands up with it and walked away. If, but not all the time do you feel that way. Somebody, and especially those about their PS5, PS4, they act the fool, you yes. know? So, um, he could have, he could have, you know, pushed the button. Let me get on out of here. Because at the end of the day, he, he's no match for her. You know what I mean? They, he could easily hurt her. take, hurt her. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? So if he was in his right mind and he thought about it clearly, he could have walked away. And you're not in your right mind. You're when somebody not. swings on you, no. it's, it's a natural right. reflex to, to protect yourself. Yep. Exactly. I'm not thinking that this is a woman. I'm thinking this is a savage. She's right. attacking me. Right. right. But also your natural reflexes as a, a, a boy or a man that have has been raised that you don't hit women, that's the first thing that comes in your mind. No, it's not. No. no it's not. And, and, and not, not all the time, but yeah. I'm saying in most cases, you hear, like if you talk to a, a, another dude, oh, no, I ain't put my hands on no girl, you don't always know exactly what you're going to do when you're in the heat of the moment. True. Right. You know what I mean? Right. True. So right. you don't always, so you can say that all day long, I ain't going to hit mm -hmm. her, she can slap me, kick me, whatever. Mm -hmm. At some point, you're going to want to defend yourself and need to defend yourself. True. But, um, you know, I think that there was a point that he, he could have possibly walked away. Um, 
I think he was and trying to. And he was. You're right. I think he, he, was, he was trying, trying to, walk to walk away. away. She wouldn't let him leave. And, I, and that's a that's an issue I have with some women because I've seen it mm-hmm. where men are trying to leave and the woman won't let him leave. Mm-hmm. And he like, look, we arguing. It's getting bad. I'm going to just leave. And they like, you ain't going nowhere. Right. And they're hitting. They're poking. They're pushing. They're doing everything. And it's just like, what do you want him to do? Yes. Eventually, you're going to hit him. One good time. And he's going to forget. Exactly. And he's going to take it out on you. Then it's going to be like, oh, you hit me. Well, you, mm-hmm. Now you want to cry. And then now his right. life is right. Ruined, right? Exactly. Like, so I, I again, I'll, I'll even throw out there, not that I fully agree, but I can understand. I'll throw out the, the Chris Brown situation. Mm-hmm. From, from the reports of what happened initially, because Rihanna realized he was cheating, mm-hmm. or she assumed he was cheating in that car on the way to the award show, she took off on him while he was driving. Mm-hmm. And in that split second, he snapped, mm-hmm. <laughs> hit her, then left, right? Mm-hmm. Now, in your right mind, in a rational mind, in a perfect world, you would be like, oh, no. Or pull over, get let out, Let me bitch, pull over. But don't. Let me leave. Out, yeah. Let yeah. me let me not retaliate and hit her back. But, I mean, and when, it, when, it, when you're presented with that moment, sometimes it's hard to be rational. I, I especially agree. if you're attacking me. It, it really is a fight or flight situation where I got to defend myself. Mm-hmm. I got to get you off of me. Get you off. That's the point. I got to get you off of if me. If that takes one And if it takes one push, bitch, yeah. I can see. But he he gave her a three-piece head of biscuit. Okay. And? I don't think she put she, Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Like I said. Bitch, get you out. Might, uh, uh, hold <laughs> on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because we got to. Let's play growing up, shall we? Yes. We in the Absolutely. car. Absolutely. Um, I'm rolling. I'm sitting over here in the passenger seat, seat minding my own business. Or I'm driving. Not money on business. Hold on. I'm driving. No, he driving. She he driving. drive. I'm driving. Right. We having a little uh, debate. She hauls off and hits me. Pap. Right. It's a natural reflex to, to be like, around there. And, and you don't yes. know how many bing, 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 yes. bing, 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 bing. Yeah. You don't know what a person is going to do or how they handle being hit. You can fix your mouth to say, oh, one good punch. Right. Oh, it's like <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Okay, and let me be clear. I'm not saying condoning even one good right. punch. I'm saying at some point, like if you are being rational right. and you thinking, yes, I've cheated, and she swung on me. Right. I'm not saying she was okay to swing, but when I look at her face and I have her picture <laughs> plastered in one of one of my uh, folders from my my DV class, when I look at her face, he her up. He snapped. I mean, like, he jacked her up. He snapped. Now the, and, and I understand snapping. <laughs> I understand snapping. Now, if he she had snapped and pulled some heat out up, from up under the seat and shot that ass, then what? He be gone. You know what I'm saying? So, it's like we have to be able to control our emotions. At the end of the day, nobody should be putting hands on nobody. And, and I agree. That's, that's nobody. The, that's I the agree. Thing, that's the thing but what? It, it, that's the thing what? That's because it. Because one thing triggers another exactly. thing. Exactly. And you don't know who's going to go too far. Mm-hmm. You don't know what that person's exactly. mindset because is see, in that Because that's moment. where my head is because I've experienced some of those type of things. I never was a person. I put it on everything. Never was I a person that hit first. Never. But if you hit me, we finna fight. We finna lock up. But now, you know, that's why it is sometimes scary that, you know, that some people are able to carry weapons because then you start thinking those things could escalate so, so quickly fast. into something else. Yep. So at the bottom line, when you feel like this relationship has begun to be toxic, it's unhealthy, we need to leave one Cut another. Our losses. Because I- either I'm gonna kill you or you gonna kill me or somebody's gonna get hurt. But you also should be in a position where you can have a discussion without putting your hands on. True. And if you see that the level is rising, you see, because you know, you see it. You know when the tension is like building up. You gotta be in your you gotta be in your place to be able to say, you know what? Let's this let we'll come back to this. Yes. I'ma bounce, you bounce, let's leave, do whatever we gotta do until we can calm down and then we'll discuss it. Because if you know it's gonna get violent. If you know that you're the type of person that you got to hit as opposed to being able to voice your concern, mm-hmm. you, 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 you don't need to even have a discussion. Right. True. I think we have to go even further than that in the beginning of the negotiation um, of the relationship. Yes. To be able to sit down and say, hey, I don't play getting hit. Right. Mm-hmm. I don't hit you. You don't hit me. Right. right. That is an absolute deal breaker for me. Right. We don't play fight. We don't Mm-mm. wrestle. No. We don't do any of that. Exactly. And that should be initial conversation. Mm-hmm. I agree. And I think even with the Chris Brown Brown thing, we have we don't we have to get to know people's backgrounds, their history. 
he admits to the fact that he watched his mother exactly. be abused. Exactly. So naturally, that's his coping skill. Exactly. He's seen his stepfather or father, whomever, soon as his mother get out of line, she bust, he busts her in the mouth or busts her upside the head or whatever. So <clears throat> these are the things that we are teaching our kids that is acceptable behavior mm -hmm. and how to handle confrontation mm -hmm. or how to handle issues. We need to let, the, there's an exercise called fair fighting, and there's different ways to fight fair. Discuss it. If you need to separate for a moment, do that. But when it comes to putting hands on each other, mm -mm, we can't do that because that's going to get out of hand. Correct. Mm -hmm. There's always a consequence when you put your hands on somebody. Exactly. Always. You keep that in mind. Yes. Whether it's right or wrong, like you like you said, you should be able to have a discussion with somebody even if you're disagreeing right. and not agreeing on something. You don't have to put your hands on it. Even when it comes to cheating, Right. And I get it because that's an emotional situation that you just you want to. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Yes, but I you <laughs> you if you can't have a conversation with that person without the thoughts of putting your hands on them. Wait. Exactly. Wait. That's true. Right. So back to the cheating situation, because that was her other response when they gave their responses this week after it finally came mm -hmm. out was that happened last year. We got through that. My issue with Quavo is he cheated. Mm. Right. Mm -hmm. So back to when you find somebody, when you find out that you're per the person you're in a relationship with, partner, mate, husband, whatever you want to call it, spouse, how do you deal with? with the reactions do you go emotional and attack fight do you sit down and have a discussion to figure out if it's worth salvaging the relationship and figure out what went wrong or do you cut your losses and move on heal and move on yeah. what's what's how what's an adrian response to being cheated on? hold on alicia hold okay. that thought what is cheating when your partner or the person you're in a relationship with decides to entertain, um, entertain a, 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 I guess a, a situation with someone he's not in a relationship with. Have you established that as monogamous? That's yes. You're, you're okay. in a relationship. Yeah. You guys are in a relationship, not casual, nothing. You guys, everybody, well, the people that know you or whatever knows you guys are in a relationship. It's yes. public. It's right. no secret. Like that's my man. That's my woman. It's it's no secret. Yeah, yeah. What is cheating to you? Cheating to me is um, when you have gone outside of the relationship um, to satisfy yourself, whether it's sexually, even conversation can be che cheating, in mm -hmm. my opinion, uh, depending on the levels of that conversation. Um, in a from a relationship that you have agreed is monogamous, and you guys are have agreed that there's no stepping outside of those boundaries. Okay, and mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to have to agree, but I'm going to have to also add cheating is a flaw in somebody's character Absolutely, mm -hmm. because we are supposed to be adults mm -hmm. and adults are supposed to have conversations. Yes. And in a perfect world, if my man were to come to me and be like, baby, I love you, but I seen this girl named Adrian. She's so fine. I'm taking her down. <laughs> I can't help it. Mm -hmm. So we need to break up right quick. Mm. I can respect that. Okay. A hundred percent. And after he finishes doing what he does with Adrian, if somewhere down the line he believes that he wants to get back with me, I might get taken back. Mm -hmm. Because he respected me enough. He let me know. He loved me. He respected me enough. He did not want me to be out there looking mm -hmm. like a fool. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, he was willing to... Uh, jeopardize whatever we had mm -hmm. for that little fling or whatever he thought right. she had over there, but he respected me. Mm -hmm. Cheating is you wanting more than somebody else knows that you're getting. Exactly. Right. Cheating is a cowardly act. Absolutely. When you, as a man, cannot stay say this is what I want mm -hmm. because you're afraid that the person is not going to agree mm -hmm. and they're going to walk. Right. 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 So, back to your question, Adrian. And the question was, do I? I'm sorry. Can you repeat? Fight it? or so, flight. But when Leave. you're, if you're being cheated on, how would you know? How does Adrian handle it? Is it a fight or flight? Is it a we're gonna sit down and have a discussion to make it work and, and salvage the relationship? 
or is it you just leave? You work on you, you heal and move on. Is it marriage versus monogamy? Is it a difference between marriage versus monogamy? Because she's 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 our resident marriage person. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Let's 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 in her case I'll I'll say marriage in your case I'll say monogamy. Well, I want to answer both, but go ahead. Okay, but I'm, okay. <laughs> in a marriage, you're right. It is a little bit different. My right. thing is, um, I I don't think deal. For me, in relationships, there's certain deal breakers. Right. For me, cheating is just one of them. It's cut and dry. There's no because I am a vengeful type person. I'm working on it. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to do better, but. If you get me, I always feel like I got to get you back. And it's very immature. Well, I understand It's that. very immature. But I feel like, you, especially if you don't embarrass me, mm -hmm, now mm -hmm. I got to really get you. Mm -hmm. And all it's going to be is this constant back and forth for me because I'm going to, it's always going to be up here. Okay. It's, so it's let's not like, let's, uh, okay. So I, I don't mean to cut you off. Okay. Let's talk in general. Okay. In general. In general. You have been with this man 10 years. He has given you 85% of what you always wanted. Mm. You guys have built things together. You guys got savings together. You have all kinds of things together. Mm -hmm. Are you saying if this man cheats on you one time, this is your marriage. Mm -hmm. You stood before your friends, your enemies, your family, this pastor, and... For more white people and whoever you call <laughs> your God and said, I, right. for better or worse, richer or poor, in sickness and health, I get it forsaking all, all others, mm -hmm. we yes. going to do this. Let, let, hold on, hold on, okay. but let me finish. Okay. So right now, when this man says he cheated on you, he made poor judgment. Yes, he did. He has a sickness right now. Mm -hmm. And he, and this is one of the worst days of our marriage. That's a part of the vow. So it. are you telling me that through all of this, you can shut down your love for that man and all this history that you had for one discretion for a person that is a human being? My thing is, can I shut it down? I can. And let me tell you why. My thing is we've, we, I communicate, well, communication is key. Mm -hmm. If I am lacking somewhere, mm -hmm. if there is something I'm falling short in, we talk about this. Mm -hmm. We talk about, cause why I'm are you thinking you? that wait, you're wait, lacking? Wait, I'm asking the question yeah, go before ahead. she goes go ahead, off. Go why are you thinking that you're lacking? He cheated. No, I'm saying if I am, I know it, it was a poor, okay. it was a poor, uh, uh, judgment. He made a, yeah, poor judgment. Mm -hmm. He made a, a bad mistake. But can I ever get over it? I know me. And that was the question was directed right, to me. Mm -hmm. I, I, I can't. And, and, and the way I described it when I was faced with this situation, and, and this sounds crazy, but I had a Honda Accord that was my favorite little car. I loved it to death. Somebody broke in it mm. and they stole my sound system that I worked really hard to put in there. Even though I got the sound system back in there and I got my car back. When I got in there, it never felt quite the same. It's a, it's a violation that has occurred that every time I look at you, I'm thinking, where that dick be? Yep. You would have had that in somebody else? Yep. That's Hold just on. me. Okay. So what if he used a condom? Is it a difference? Nope. Because you just said, where the dick be? If the dick is covered up. Is it the difference? No, nope. no, okay. not not to me. Okay. It's no difference. You because went through see, the we're whole not only talking see, to ourselves; we're talking to the audience. Yes, right. So and that's why I'm trying difference. to pose questions. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I appreciate that. Okay. And there's a there is a um, I don't care even if he got a condom on. There's some other stuff that goes on. Very intimate exchange of uh, kissing or giving head or whatever else you're doing that just violates. Me, your trust. And it violates the trust. Gotcha. And it will never be the same again for me. I am a I'm one of those people. I am loyal to and to the extreme. The if I got you, I got you. If you fall short, I I got you. I'ma lift you up in every way. I'm 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 that loyal chick. Okay. So when you do this, mm -mm. I'm I'm cool. Deuces. Mona. Monogamous. Yes. Monogamous, I got to walk away. That's a deal breaker for me. Mm -hmm. okay. Because I feel like this. In a monogamous relationship where we're playing like we're married, we should not be um, 
putting together our resources and 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 doing all the things that married pe- married people do right. so that I can bounce. Now for me as a marriage because I do take and y'all know I say I take marriage seriously. I've never been married. I believe that we can work through anything. Here's the thing. Like I said, we stood in front of these people and we took these vows. Mm-hmm. It's the deception mm-hmm. of the whole thing. It's that you had met this young lady. You had to get her number. Mm-hmm. You had to sneak and call her. Mm-hmm. That's it. You had to sneak and set up the rendezvous. Yep. You hit it. You might hit it once. You might hit it twice. But basically, when a man cheats on a woman, the wife does not know anything about the lady that he's cheating with. Mm. The woman that he's cheating with knows what Asia looks like, Mm -hmm. knows where she works, knows where she lives, knows her inadequacies, whether it's housekeeping or sex. He knows everything about her. Mm. Mm -hmm. So the wife can, like Asia said, can be walking down the street one day. Mind her own business, and somebody pop, 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 pop. Right, right, <laughs> right. Like, what I right. She can get to her car, and her car is keyed. Right. And she don't know what the hell is going on here. Yep. Or get home, and the window was busted. So, once you do all that, as my husband, what you have done, you have failed to protect me. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's and it. that's a deal breaker. And I got to go. But let me tell you something about me. You don't get to cheat on me and then make me be homeless. Mm -mm. I don't know if I'm leaving in a week. I don't know if I'm leaving in a month. I don't know if I'm leaving in a year. But I gotta go. Point blank, period. As far as marriage is concerned. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree with both of you ladies. (laughs) I I definitely agree. For me, it's a deal breaker, whether we're married or whether we're just in a monogamous relationship. Like, there is no coming back from that for me because... Once you break that trust with me, like I hold trust like to an all time high. You break that trust, I'm done. Mm-hmm. I will never trust you. And you could be telling me the truth from here on out. Mm-hmm. I will never trust you. However, I've been in some situations where men have said, she didn't mean nothing. It was just sex. It was just sex. There was no connect, no connection. She don't have nothing you have. It's nothing you did wrong. I just wanted to just feel something different. Mm. Mm-hmm. But I love you. <laughs> I love our kids. <laughs> right. I love the life we've built together. Yes. I love the businesses we've started. I love everything. I don't want to lose it. She was just, it, it was just that. It, it won't happen again. It won't. And then you bump into the, the Jacksons. <sighs> oh, bless her heart. You bump into the Jacksons, who... Like, similar to what Mona was describing in her scenario, she was with him when he had nothing. nothing. She was with him. She was she was the supportive woman who helped build him up, who was promoting, who was encouraging. My opinion, we won't know the truth unless they talk about it, probably was a secret writer in some of those books. Uh, help him to get where he is now. He cheated before they got married. He cheated during Hold the on. marriage. Go Hold ahead. On. Let's yes. talk about before he got married. All right. Okay, so you're with a man that you've been with a man for years. Mm -hmm. And you hear rumors of cheating. Mm -hmm. And it might come from, a lot of times when you hear that your man has been cheating on you, it comes from an ex-boyfriend. That if you broke up with him and he's still pining for you, he'll call you up. Mm -hmm. You at home minding your own business. Hello? Mm -hmm. Hey, how you doing? And you know, men are so disrespectful. They'll be like, you still with old boy? Mm-hmm. They ain't going to mm-hmm. say his name. Mm-hmm. His name might be Paul. You still with Peter? You know his name right. is Paul. Right. You, you still with that buster? Yeah, what's up? Y'all, y'all, you well, sure? Well, you know, I was at the club last night. <laughs> yep, yep, and uh, yep. it was an altercation in the parking lot. And, oh boy, two girls was fighting. Mm-hmm. And when I saw who it was, yo man... I expected one of those women to be you. Oh, mm-hmm. messy. Mm-hmm. So he got two females on the side mm. and a woman at home, Ooh. unknowing that he's somewhere just cutting up. Right. right. So now you're on that other end of the phone. 
you trying to save face. Right. He just cracked your face. Right. But you got to get some more information. You get the information, you find out what he had on, what they had on, as much details as you can. And see, then this is where your ex try to slide in. You need anything? <laughs> you, need, you need to talk? <laughs> you want me to pick you up? And you're like, nah, I'm good. But you really want to be like, do, 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 Right, do, do. right. Nigga. Uh-huh. <laughs> right. And you keep that in your database. Mm-hmm. Because sometimes you have to consider the sources. Right. Your associate, female associate, calls you. Hey, I seen your dude cheat. Mm-hmm. You got to consider the sources mm-hmm. because she might want to take your spot. Mm. So you out here and you hearing all these this rumors and you collecting that data in your database, but you still being that woman that you're supposed to be because you ain't caught his ass yet. Mm-hmm. 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 And then the baby comes up. That's a validation that he was absolutely, positively, 100% cheating. And that's what men don't understand. We give y'all passes. Mm -hmm. We know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But see, what they don't understand is that once you cheat on somebody, and it could go both ways, men or women. Mm -hmm. Like Nisha said, it breaks down the fiber of the relationship. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It breaks down the trust. Mm -hmm. So now, if you get home too late, you cheating. Mm-hmm. Yep. If you leave too early for work, you're, you're cheating. cheating. Mm-hmm. Yep. If you used to go to the store and sweats in the tennis shoes, you're cheating. Do I smell cologne? Right. And why do he got on some slacks and a button down shirt? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. What it's you don't stressful. understand now, everything is a cheating scenario. You have broken my trust. Yep. Now I'm giving you passes. I don't even want to do the things that I would genuinely want to do for you. Mm -hmm. I don't want to cook with love and clean with love and wash your dirty drawers with love and be next to you in the bed with love. And what you don't understand is Mm -hmm. not only have you broken up the trust in this relationship for the person that has been cheated on, but you've also broken up the trust for any other relationships that they go into next. Yep. If they don't if heal. If they don't heal. It. Correct. Absolutely. If they don't heal. So back to Derek Jackson and his wife. Mm-hmm. He was cheating on her. He had cheated on her multiple mm-hmm. times. Before the marriage. I can't do it. Mm-hmm. I can't marry you. Mm-hmm. Period. Mm-hmm. I don't even want to be with you 10 years in cheating. Period. Right. The ring is not going to stop him from cheating. At all. The ring might have a perception that this is a married man and he's yes. outstanding and right. upstanding and he does no wrong. But matter of fact, the ring makes it more desirable for, for some, some women. women. For some women. Exactly. Yep. She's a conquer. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Not mm-hmm. really a conquer. Yep. There are some women, we're going to get into it later, but there are some women that don't want the whole man. Mm-hmm. Are you mm-hmm. married? No problem. That means I don't have to do all that. Exactly. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. You don't, you don't, you can't fix cheating by walking down the aisle. No. No. Yeah. No. That's so true. But I mean, it takes, I mean, in my opinion, in that situation, because I'm going to go back to the Jacksons. Again, she was with him. She was loyal. She was sticking with him. Knowing that he was cheating, and this is prior to, because let's be clear, they've been together for 14 years. They've only been married for, I think they just celebrated their second year. Like two years? Second and a, second mm-hmm. year anniversary. Mm-hmm. So she, you know, she had his child, the first child, before marriage. The second child, he was like, let me do right by you, and they got married. And so she was five months pregnant when they got married for the second child, right? But during all of that, And I'm basing this on her post that she's talked about. He cheated when she was in college. He cheated with some of her friends. She's seen videos because I'm willing to bet some of those women was like, oh, you don't think I got your man? Mm. Here's a video. So she's seen videos of him having sex with other women. She's she's seen video of him because she talks about secretions, why other women did things that her body didn't. Mm -hmm. She's watched 
multiple times. She's compared herself, which is what you talked about earlier when you said when you get cheated on, mm -hmm. you find yourself comparing yourself mm -hmm. to that other woman or women. Like, what is it they have that I don't? Right. right. She blamed herself for not physically looking like the women that he wanted and tried to change herself to look like the women that he wanted, only she couldn't do it with her skin, right? Mm -hmm. And so when you have that kind of a situation, if you have a friend in that situation, what do you tell them? I would say he's already shown you a pattern of exactly who he is and what he is. And if my Angelou didn't say it better, people will show you who they are. Believe them the first time. Just because, like Mona said, just because that ring gets placed on your finger and you take these vows in front of all these people does not mean he, it's going to change. He has a pattern. He has a, some may even call it an addiction. Mm -hmm. But whatever it is, he's not marriage material in, in, in my... And then the way it was handled... It just was an ugly, I felt bad for her. I, um, to a certain extent, and to some of you, some of the stuff you just shared with me, you know, but again, that low self-esteem, that low, the, those insecurities will make you accept stuff that under normal circumstances you would not accept. Like maybe she just felt like she couldn't have nobody else. And maybe she felt like, oh, he's Derek Jackson. I, at least I got a little piece of him. He might share his little thing with a whole bunch of other people, but he come home to me and lay in the bed with me. Or he could be like some women who say, uh-uh, I built this man. Yes, I helped him to get to where he part. is. I'm not going to let him give that to someone else. Yes. So I'm going to stick it out. Yeah. And make a worse fool of yourself. Yeah. Correct. Yes. I want to talk about Derek Jackson because th this is what I think happened. When you, well, because, you know, I'm super nosy, I went down his whole timeline. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when you go all the way back and you see the young Derek Jackson, mm -hmm. he was kind of nerdy. Mm -hmm. Yes. You no, know, he was kind of chunky. Yes. Mm -hmm. He had man boobs. Yes. yes. He wasn't as attractive mm -hmm. as when you see the Derek High Jackson. High value Derek Jackson. Yes. Today. Mm -hmm. So oftentimes, men that other women don't find visually attractive mm -hmm. and somebody got mad at me one time because I said sometimes ugly men grow into their ugliness they and know. they start looking money changes viral yeah. in the day. <laughs> it, it, it's even nothing about money um, they just start looking sophisticated mm -hmm. and, and, mm -hmm. and, and um, mandingo-ish and yes. their features start to come in and, yeah. and so <laughs> the thing about a Derek Jackson was back then when he was with his wife mm -hmm. He probably wasn't getting checked by other women. Mm -hmm. And he for sure wasn't getting checked um, by okay. women that were dimes. Mm -hmm. So he created this platform right, to talk to women to tell them what they should not allow. And his audience was in the hundreds of thousands. Mm -hmm. He's talking and he's getting DMs. Mm -hmm. He's getting side messages. Mm -hmm. And some men can take those compliments, appreciate them, and come wear that out on their wife mm -hmm. or their woman at home. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. there are some men that that goes to their heads. Now they got hundreds of women like, oh, boy, they can't handle it. Mm -hmm. They ain't never had a woman like exactly. that. Exactly. Ain't no woman like that ever checked for me. Mm -hmm. And they lose what they were really here to do. Yeah, mm -hmm. They get caught up in it. And mm -hmm. he get caught up in that mm -hmm. temptation. Yes. And then he don't do it once, he do it twice. Mm -hmm. And now, like you say, it becomes an addiction. Mm -hmm. It becomes a sickness. Yes. And as a woman, like Nisha said, she changed her hair. She did, went and got her makeup beat mm -hmm. by one of the most famous makeup artists mm -hmm. in Atlanta. She changed her attire. Mm -hmm. She tried to change Everything about herself. And that's the thing. If you got to change everything about yourself, because I didn't change. I'm who you are when you met me. Mm -hmm. I can embellish this, but I am who you are when you met me. Exactly. That's red flag number one. Mm -hmm. Because I, I believe that me as a single woman, I can't tell my married friend to leave her husband. Right. That's not my job. I agree. But like you said, you need to really sit sit down and do an evaluation. Mm -hmm. For sure. It's very tragic. And here's the thing. 
nobody, and as far as the the women that were involved in it, what we have to remember is nobody wants anybody that nobody else wants. Mm-hmm. So isn't it ironic that if you have been single on Facebook for 10 years. Right. And all of a sudden you say, Mona Lisa is in a relationship. You're going to get con- congratulations, yep. but what are you going to get from some of the men? Damn. Why you didn't let me Why know? You Why you didn't? I, I wanted you to. Yeah. I did not leave him for me. I got it. Oh, I thought you I had, had a chance. chance. Yeah, to take you out. I Nigga, you live shot. next door. Okay. <laughs> yeah, right down the street. <laughs> right? Exactly. And so then that opens up some Challenge. doors. Mm-hmm. I agree. Mm-hmm. Or when you're out and you see a man that you are visually attracted to with a female that you think is a five. Or however they say. Right. You trying to be like, I look better than her. Oh, I know. I'm a seven. So I'm a shit. Five. I mean, I got a shot. Right. Okay. Or or or, 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 them or a beautiful woman with a man that you don't find visually attractive. Mm-hmm. You, you're trying to size that up because we, as people, are really shallow. We're mm-hmm. really surface. Right. Yes. We don't understand it. It's something deeper than on the outside. So everybody is... You look more attractive when you're in a relationship. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. When you when you walk into a room, because I have a friend, and we've known each other for damn near 40 years now, and we met in the club. Mm-hmm. When we go to a club 40 years later, and we run across people that see us, that what we exude when we are together, that mm-hmm. vibe, that chemistry, whatever that aura is, they can still feel that. Mm-hmm. Damn, y'all still look cute together. We have never been together. We're just friends. Right, right. But people see that and they like, oh, I want that. I want that. I don't know what it is, but people look better to people when they're with somebody Someone else. else. Mm, yeah. Because that's what they desire. They and want so a relationship. that's what it is. When that's you're what... in the public eye, you got to be very careful of resisting those temptations. That should have been the time because that was his wife that he cleaves to her. And she was a, she's a very um, Christian person. Yes. Mm. He should have cleaved to her. If nobody, you should be able to come to the person that you say you love and Mm -hmm. say, I got a problem. Right. I'm about to take about 15 of them down. (laughs) Exactly. Can you hang from the chandelier tonight, or can you, can, you know, yes. can you go send the kids it? to the nanny, please? Because can, mm-hmm. can you go to the wig shop? I need you to get a red wig. Okay. Do something because we don't use all that. Yeah. yeah. Can you go get a cheerleading outfit? Because I'll send it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we want our women to be these pristine, virgin like. Mm. But we desire, but we desire the, nasty the opposite. Girls. See, that goes back to what I said a few episodes ago when I said. Men say they want that wholesome woman, that Christian woman, that Bible toting woman. But then they, when you see who they're liking on social media, Mm -hmm. when you see who they're following on social media, and then you find out you're getting cheated on in real life, they're cheating with the opposite. She don't look nothing Nothing like that wholesome woman. Mm -mm. Nothing. Hmm. It's the fantasy, I think. And sometimes you're not supposed to go with your fantasies. But Keep re- it at fantasy. Yes. But a healthy relationship, if you communicate with your partner, mm-hmm. you do that. You can be uh, a fantasy. Yeah, you can be a fantasy. You can become the you fantasy. You can dress up. You yep. can do these things that they want to do and vice versa. He can do some stuff for you. But that's what it all boils down to. What do we need to make this relationship thrive and grow and 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 stay healthy? And I think sometimes... You got to be willing to do some of those things. I think it ha- also has to do with a man's ego. Sometimes a man doesn't want you to know where you get that freaky stuff from. I know. <laughs> Sometimes you know. <laughs> I get scared. Who taught you all yeah, that? Yeah, you ain't never did that, that before. That was a whole <laughs> yeah. different fight. Yeah, right. Man, I'm just trying to please you. you right. Know? Yeah. <laughs> I- I'm gonna give y'all a story. You know I got <laughs> so one day I decided I'm gonna dress up for my man. Like 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 Adrian said, I got this little sexy lingerie going on, and um, he came in the house and he looked at me, and he's like, "Mona, what the fuck you got on?" <laughs> 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 so I'm looking at him, and see, I'm ignorant too. If you don't catch on, I might add fuel to the to the uh, flame. So I said, "Oh my god." You just caught me. I was on my way to my second job. Babe, I'm a stripper. Instead of him catching it yeah. and catching himself, 
I knew you was a stripper. <laughs> <laughs> you got all kind of costumes in that closet. So, <laughs> so now I know he's been going through my stuff. Yeah. But he never understood that the costumes that I had put in there was going to be for him. Right. And he just messed up the oh. whole mood. And I never tried it again. And because he didn't understand what was going down, he never got it. Mm. And I think sometimes men want us to be so pure mm-hmm. and... We can't be violated, but then why would you want to go out and violate somebody else? Mm. That's it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I'm I'm giving you everything right here. You got the full package, baby. Yeah. Tell me what you need. Yeah. Okay. (laughs) We're going to have to come back. And we're going to have to do a part two. part two. This is going to have to be a part two. When we come back, I want to ask the question, were women always scandalous? Where women, you know, the majority cheaters, where, where, or how, or why did women become cheaters and just as scandalous as men? Do we know? Mm. Mm. Final thoughts, Nisha. You don't have to stay in relationships where people cheat. If you are in a relationship and you see the signs that your partner or your mate is not happy, you guys should be able to have a discussion without it turning into violence. How And also, if that isn't the case and it's not working and you should find out that your partner or mate was cheating, um, you have some decisions to make. Whether it's you stay and, and work it out and come to a solution to figure out what went wrong so that it doesn't happen again, or you cut your losses because you know the trust is lost and you could never really get that trust back and work on healing yourself so that you don't take that baggage into your next relationship and and blame that next person that comes into your life for what happened in this previous relationship or relationships. Uh, That's my final thought. And my final thought is healthy relationships require good communication. Yes. There's just no way around it. You need to make your... Uh, voice heard, what you require, what your needs are. You want your needs to be met. And I think when you can communicate with your mate and let them know what it is that you want, what it is that you need, your desires, you're in a better place. And I also think you have to have healthy boundaries up. If cheating is a deal breaker, stick to your guns. If you know, you know you, you know what I mean? If that is something that you just can't work through, there's no sense in being stressed out and tortured by overthinking and not having those having trust issues by being in a relationship that you were once cheated on. So um, I just say communicate. Talk yes. to your mate. Mona? Oftentimes we do things that we really don't want to do because of what outside entities are going to think or what they're going to say. Mm-hmm. So at the end of the day, You know how you feel about this person. You know whether or not you can live without them or live with them. You know if you're drama-filled or not. You know, you know, if this is what you want. So I'm just saying if you make a choice to stay, that's your decision. Stick by it. If you make a choice to leave, that's your decision. Stick by it. Just don't allow um, public perception of what other people think you that should be best for you when you um, make your decision because you know what is best for you and I, and and all things that we don't sometimes we play ourselves so don't break up with the cheating fool and you know he's a cheater but you know you can't live without him try to get some therapy mm-hmm. you know try to see if he really is remorseful Derek Jackson was not fucking remorseful no nah, he was a narcissist he cheated the next day exactly. and did a video live in front of another it, woman's house right and the day right <laughs> the day before that set will drug his wife with him to say that all of this is resolved and we're moving forward in a positive direction. Now, I said I cannot tell a married woman what to do, but honey child, <laughs> if you saw that and you don't know what to do, I'm going to say like Adrian says all the time, bless your heart. <laughs> 
This is BGP. All right. Oh, my panties is on the floor. Oh, <laughs> your panties on the floor. <laughs> What's your panties on the floor? Ass 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 <laughs> BGP, we love you guys. Please like, share, subscribe to our channel. Let Give us know your comments. thoughts, leave comments, and we are out. Yes. Bye. Bye. <laughs>